Hi there, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and this is your tutorial for the week. Last week, I started the process of creating a character, and I did so using Adobe Sketch. I just went in and sketched out the character, and the intent is to build this up. So now with the sketch, we're going to go into Adobe Draw on my iPad Pro, which is right here. I would show you this screen, but I don't think it's gonna work out with the camera. So we'll just screen cap all of that. So I'm going to go in to Adobe Draw with my sketch and begin the process of drawing. You can follow along with Adobe Draw and an iPad Pro if you do have one, or you can just sit back and relax, watch the process, or maybe even follow along in another software like Animate CC, Moho, whatever you use, Illustrator, that could work too. But with that said, we're going to dive in and get started. With Adobe Draw opened up, I'm in my Incredible Tutorials project, and I'm going to tap on this sketch to go inside. Now that I'm inside, we can see what is making up this project. And all it is, is an image layer. I took this image from Adobe Sketch and brought it over to Adobe Draw. And Adobe Draw looks very similar to Adobe Sketch, but you do have different tools. And Adobe Draw is more of a companion app for Illustrator, while Sketch is more of a companion app for Photoshop, even though you can go between the different pieces of software. You can have Adobe Sketch projects go over to Illustrator and vice versa. But anyway, with all that said, even though it doesn't really matter, at least at this moment, we're going to jump in and start drawing. So I want to tap on my draw layer, which I already have made, and I want to make sure I have my ink brush selected. And I have a size of five set for that, and the color is set to black. I'm going to full screen this application so I don't accidentally click on any of the layers. And I'm just going to start following along with the sketch beginning with the head. So we'll come in and start near the top and then draw a line going down. And then we'll draw a second line connecting to the chin. There we go. And then I will draw my chin just like this. If you ever need to undo in Adobe Draw, just take two fingers and swipe to the left. Let me try that again. It's not quite where I want it. Let me try one more time. Okay, that should work. And then we'll go up to the ear with the other face line. And then we will complete the shape of the head just by bringing this other line around. There we go. Now I have to do a little bit of cleanup up there, but that's okay. We'll get to that. Let's move over to the neck, but first I will tap on the full screen button to bring this back. We can see we have the head layer right there. And in fact, how about we tap on that draw layer and then tap on draw layer on the top and then rename this to head and then hit done. That way we have that set up and we can easily reference that layer. Then let's create a second layer for the neck. I'll tap on the plus button and then choose draw layer. And then on that layer, I can full screen the application and we can come in and resume drawing. So I'll draw one line down for the neck and then we'll do the second line above. I'm deviating a little bit from my original sketch with this, but that's okay. And I can come back and remove that line to make that look more complete. But for now, we're going to move on to the body. So I'll make a new layer for that and we can resume work. So we'll come down and add one line for the back portion of the body. And then we're gonna draw down and come up to form the bottom end of the character. So something like that, but then coming near the bottom right, I'm going to resume the line work and come up to the shoulder. Again, you can swipe to the left with two fingers to undo, which I sometimes have to do quite often if I can't quite get a line right, but let's keep trying here. So that should work, and I can come in and clean up those lines in a little bit here. So we have the body taking shape. 
Let's jump to that front arm. So I'll add another draw layer. Come over and create that arm. So we'll start near the shoulder, draw a line down. And I'm going to bring it out a little bit like so. And then we're going to bring it back like so. And then we'll reconnect then with the shoulder at the top. So something like that should work. I will of course clean up that line in a bit. But then I'm going to resume work. So now I'm going to draw out the wrist because I added a sleeve for the clothes. So now we're going to come down and we'll add this wrist for the other portion of the arm. So it kind of looks like, of course, that his sleeves are too short for his body. And then we can come in and draw the hand. So there we go. I changed the design of the hand a little bit, but that's okay. Again, the sketch is just to give us an idea. We can change things from there. So let's bring everything back and I want to come over to the add button and add a new draw layer. We're going to work on the legs. So starting with the front leg, just like that, the bottom of the pants over to the right. And then we'll come up to the top left. There we are. And we'll draw the foot as well on the same layer. Come down. And then for the back leg, all I'm going to do is tap on that leg layer and duplicate it. And then tap on that new leg layer and then we can move it by using the transform option. And I can just place it over there like that. So yes, we're cheating a little bit, but that's okay. So once we place this where we want it, maybe just bring it up a little bit like so, we can tap done. Now I'm looking at my legs here and I actually think I need to tap on this other one and go to transform and bring this leg back even more. So perhaps something like that tap done, go up to the other leg, and then we can bring that one maybe in a little bit more, like so. We want this to match up with the neck so it looks like it's aligned as best as we can. So something like that should work. And we can tap done. And as we continue to fill things in, we can always move these limbs around more if needed. So now, with the shape of the body in place, if I were to hide the sketch, we can see how this is shaping up. What I want to do now is come back and start adding in my details for the character. So we're going to start with the head. I'll bring the head on top of everything, just so we have that layer set. And we're going to come in and start with the eyes. So we'll create a new layer for the eyes. And we'll full screen everything and come in. So there we go. And then I'm going to add some reflections to the eyes as well. So we'll come in. We're just going to add two circles like that. Go like that. And then we'll do the second one kind of up more like this. There we go. That way they're a little bit more. So there we go, something like that. And I can go in and clean up those lines. That looks a little bit closer to what I originally wanted. So now we can keep going. I'm just going to come in and just keep filling in details. So we'll add in the glasses next. But before I do that, actually, let's come over here to the head and I'm just gonna draw in the ears and I'll do that on the head layer. 
So we have that reference set up. So there's one ear. And then there is the second ear. Now we can go to that new layer again, and we can keep renaming these layers as we go, but I'm kind of not <laughs> just for the sake of time, but we'll come in and start drawing out the glasses. So something like that, come in and complete then the frames. So I'm just going to first come down like this and we'll come in like that to kind of establish how thick we want this and then we'll just keep going like so you can round it off and come down like this we have we need to put that up a little bit higher so we'll put that line right there and then the other line should come down like that about so let's just round that off and try that again so now I'm going to add another draw layer this time for the nose we can come in draw a line down like that and then we're going to create a fairly big nose so we'll just dip it up try that again so there we go. It's a little bit bigger than it was in my sketch, but that's okay. And then we can add in the mustache. Come back here, create a new draw layer, and then we can add in the smile right down there. Let me try that again. One more time. <laughs> there we go. We'll work with that. And I can also add in that line right there for the mouth. And if you want, you could also add in the chin line down here as well. But again, completely up to you. So now with that, we can move on and add the hair. Add a new layer for this. And we'll start with the sideburn. And just kind of come up like so. And we're just going to match the sketch as best as we can. Try to make it maybe. Maybe try to make it look a little bit better. Let's come down and add the hairs. I'm going to have to do some cleaning up with this because I won't be able to fill those in until all the lines are completely closed. But I'll worry about that next week. So we're just going to come in now, make sure everything is looking good. And then we'll go on the other side and do the same thing. We can't see the sideburn over here, but we can see the hair past the ear. So we're just going to come in and draw the hair going up like so. And then coming out. And then it can just kind of come down like that. And then we can add in the three hairs on the top of the head. Let me try that again. There we go. I like that better. And then I'm going to go back to the face. Let's tap on that. And add in some of the lines here. So we'll add in the four headlines right there. I can add in the lines under the eyes. And I have the lines for the face covered on the other layer. So that is looking good. And now we just need to add some details to the body. So we'll come in and we'll go to that body layer. And before I continue, because how I'm going to set this up, I want to grab the neck and bring it above the body on the layers list and then tap on the neck and then choose merge down. So now the neck belongs with the body layer. Then I can continue with my ink brush on the body layer. I'm just going to come in and start drawing. So we will bring this down. 
Now we need to just finish the tops of the collars here. So we'll add in those lines just like that. And then we just need to bring it all back down. I can also add in the amazing chest hairs here. Actually, I'll wait on the chest hair because I might color those the same color as his hair, which I haven't decided on yet. So we'll leave those. I really like drawing in Adobe Draw. Next week, we will continue working with this. I'll clean up all the lines and we'll fill in the objects and prepare it then for export to Photoshop or Illustrator, where we can then take it from there and start the animation process. So anyway, I'm going to just leave everything here. If you have any questions or comments about what I did here, again, I'll, it's just me drawing. So I don't know if you really would have a question on that, but if you do, feel free to leave a question and I will try to answer it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.